Take one, and we're joined by Summer B, who's here to give us all the latest Bollywood gossip. The I girl am. with the no. I am with the no today, and the no today is actually it's quite a serious week in Bollywood. Oh dear. It is, and with it being September the 11th, we, yeah. we know it's the anniversary of a very important day that changed the world, changed yes. history. Very somber time. Exactly, and for Asians, it, it is a very difficult um, scenario to imagine that maybe people of your creed, of your colour, Mm. carried out such attacks or... Well, I've, I've seen in the, the newspapers today people have been protesting outside mosques, uh, you know, blaming the whole community for something it's which still, wasn't their fault. It's still something that people get very rallied up against about, isn't it? It's not died down at all. It's still at the forefront of people's minds. Well, the forefront of people's minds and, at the moment, the forefront of Bollywood because there's a film that's coming out. It's Star Sharik Khan and it's called My Name is Khan. Okay. I think it's very important to Sharik Khan. He was actually arrested at Newark Airport, well, detained rather, at Newark Airport for two hours, held by security there, um, who questioned him and interrogated him for over two hours. And he's a famous celebrity in Bollywood, and he goes to America and he's detained like this because they were searching people with the name Khan. Right. And a film is now being produced. I mean, it stars... Shout Khan and a, f and a few other obvious uh, Bollywood stars. So he's starring as himself in a film? He's, he's not starring as himself, although the director has come out and said that he did not come out of the role at all while he right. was playing this role, right. even at home with his children. And the role is quite important in itself because yeah. it's actually a guy who is ill. He is... Um, he, he he's like the Dustin Hoffman in Rain Man. Right, so it's a mental illness. Exactly. So, Ex so to still keep that up must one be very emotionally draining, but two quite difficult on the family. I can imagine if you're playing that role with your family, you've completely changed the dynamics of the family household, haven't you? Exactly. Even with his children, he was in this mental like condition of autism, mm -hmm. and um, he basically it's the film is about a man with a disability. Right. But secondary to that, the film is about the disability that terrorism has put on the world and on Asians. Right. Because they do feel as though you get you do get interrogated perhaps yeah. more. Um, Sharat Khan being the example of that. Even the ex-Indian Prime Minister um, was uh, frisked at, at an airport. Well, September the Eleventh has brought a lot of hatred and a, a lot of controversy and and been very deconstructive towards mm. the Asian population, hasn't it? It's done nothing but make the prejudice they experience and the difficulties they experience so much worse. So anything that can sort of, you know, show people how ignorant actually they are and how they can you know, move forward is obviously a positive thing. Well, definitely. I mean, um, Shahrukh Khan said in an interview last month that the relationship between the Western world and Islam has changed over the past few years. And the film, he's described the film as the journey of one family and how it changes because of 9-11. Mm -hmm. And I don't think any Asian family hasn't maybe yeah. felt slightly um, out of place somewhere yeah. because of 9-11. I was on the train the other day and there was, a young, there was a young child, he must have only been about 12 years old, mm -hmm. and school kids are school kids and he said something like, you know, we best not say that because there could be a man who could run through um, from Pakistan saying that he's got a bomb. Yeah. And I thought, I thought, you know what? He doesn't actually know any better. Exactly. It is. It can be genuine ignorance. We mm. use the term ignorance as a very negative thing, and obviously it is. But it can just be people just aren't aware, particularly yeah. younger people. They've not known anything different. Exactly. Years, and the media can then fuel hatred, and it's just a big cycle. So anything that just informs people more than anything. Mm. I think films are a very good way to inform yes. people. You see yeah. one person, rather than thinking about a whole community, one person yeah. to deal with it. You can sort of. Um, empathise with it more. So it's hopefully, it's a personal element, isn't it? Rather yeah. than you just thinking of the collective. It's education, isn't it? Yeah. You have to be able to see something to maybe know more, more yeah. boundaries and borders. So hopefully, um, that film will will do a lot of good. Well, there's other films that might be doing a bit of good. We've oh, got good. Sam Khan, uh, Sam Khan, who's actually campaigning on social issues, and he's um, recording a series of short films on drugs, crime, and other public awareness. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it's good how all these films are becoming very didactic. They're really giving a message, aren't they? Rather than just entertainment for entertainment's sake. Mm. She's trying to change the world. I think that's really good. Just looking at drugs, crime in... in I think it's in, in the Asian... 
community right. in India, Pakistan. So that's something, you know, we often think, oh, we, the drugs is a big problem here in the UK, you know, and oh, things yeah. like that. But, but, but it's, it's everywhere, yeah, really. Yeah. You, you know, you get social issues not just in the West, I mean, perhaps more so in the East, you, yes, you know, you yeah. can't ever rule it out. Well, it's it. worldwide, isn't it? It's, it's a poison, it spreads. Anybody can relate to it or to, to a scenario, knowing people, knowing being in a place where drugs is, is a high culture, so. Definitely. Um, there's about 30 films he's going to produce. Good and they are short. So it's a long-term plan. Gosh. Yeah. Well, it is Bollywood. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be the same if it was just a couple, would yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> Well, um, going on from Salman Khan, he might be a goodie there, but he has actually been portrayed as a baddie too. Um, okay. uh, recently, he's actually been accused, or there's been rumours that have said that he's um, hit previous ex-girlfriends. Oh my goodness. So, you know, on the other side of his coin, um, yeah. he's denying claims that he was ever violent towards Ashwarya Rai, um, because he did there date her. They can see a picture of them. And there, there has been reports that he's got a possessive attitude right. when he's in a relationship. So they're just speculation at the moment, there isn't actually any yeah. It is speculation. But if, if the Bollywood press is anything like our press, yeah. I can imagine how things get exaggerated. And However, domestic violence is obviously something that should yes. be taken lightly. It is, and I think also when you've got um, that the, the culture, mm. you, sometimes you do find that a, a male is more dominant in a relationship. Yes, yeah. you can't, that is it is very different than the Western world and obviously that bridge is, is forming and it, you know, it is sort of, of through osmosis a lot of people are sort of adopting more Western views but obviously you know, we've got to respect that people are just different, different exactly. ways. Well he's it? dismissed the comments as cheap comments so he's It could just thing. be tabloid titter. Yes, yeah. it could be. But saying that, his current girlfriend Katrina Kaif she has actually insisted that her decision not to work with Vi Vivek Aroy is not because of Salman's dispute with Vivek. So they're saying that because of his so-called history with his previous girlfriends, that now she's saying she doesn't want to work with someone, they're blaming it on him now. Yeah, she said, oh, I can't work with that person. And they've put two and two together and said, well, he doesn't like Right, right, right. Is it because of your boyfriend that you don't want to? So it's kind See, of. See, even these stars, there's still sort of that sort of rivalry and loyalty, and your ex boyfriend and my ex boyfriend and drama. It's, it's all, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just inflated, but you know. So, what is she, do we know what she said the she, reason? She, she's no, not said she, it? She's, she's insisted that it's got nothing to do with uh, Salman Khan, but he, she just doesn't want to work with that person. Wow. Fair, enough. Never know. Fair enough. Female. That's what she says, Good I believe. Strong female. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you never know. It could be Salman Khan. <laughs> we don't know. Um, going on from one hunk to another, we've got Hrithik Roshan, and he has insisted that he's going to stop going to the gym. Um, he wants to get a bit fat. Oh, oh. Sounds, sounds like a. Sounds a like an excuse. Guy, you like know, someone someone who, like Shaver Juice, yeah. but not going to the gym. <laughs> well, Although it doesn't look like he needs to go. It doesn't. He's, no, you know it doesn't. Mean? Well, let's just hope he doesn't get too fat because, you know, well, yeah. the, the reason behind well, it... One of the things he's known for is his physique, isn't it? Exactly. That's one of his defining one features. Of the, one of the Bollywood so, so why does he want to get fat? Is it for a role? Or he's does been just banned. He has been banned from going to the gym by the director of his forthcoming right. film, Gazarish. And that's a, that's a role that he has to play and he has to put on the pounds to, to play that role. Well, I hope he's carefully in his uh, custard creams because, as we found out earlier in the show, yes, they're hazard. they are dangerous. They're very dangerous. So... Uh, well, he's co-starring with Ashwarya Rai, so we, we, there is there is some eye candy that's going to be in that film. We'll be it, it must be that. it must be hard because you know we know Renny, you know probably the most famous person, Renny Zellweger in Bridget Jones. She mm. you know eats a lot of food and to put it on, Beyonce but then to, had to, as well. to get it back off again, that must be extremely hard. Especially up your you know your metabolism mm. and things. I mean, especially for someone like him, he's a bit like me. We've both got good physiques, and to have to lose that for must a role much. is a bit it of a shame. It must be awful. <laughs> it yeah. must be so yeah. traumatic for it you. Must be tough. It is tough. When you have to tuck into them donuts. <laughs> well, talking into donuts, we don't want any of that, not in Birmingham, because um, we've got Olympic medalist, um, De Denise Lewis. Yeah. She was starring on Strictly Come Dancing a few years ago. Yep, I remember. Yeah. And she's starting up a Bollywood dance. Oh, um, amazing. Fantastic. Show. It's an event, basically, and people yeah. can go and enjoy in this Bollywood oh, that, dancing. And that's in Birmingham? But that's in Birmingham. Brilliant. It starts next month, and um, I think the performances are marking this 175th anniversary of the town hall. Really, because so. I did some Bollywood dancing, as like regular viewers will know, we do do a dancing segment. I tried Bollywood, and I loved it. So Great. much fun, so glamorous. It looks very difficult, and it is very difficult, but you master it a lot quicker than you realise, so it's fantastic. It's nice. There's a few moves, you know. I'm yeah. not going to do any of them you I feel now, like you're exercising because it <laughs> is so fun. That's what I mean. She, she's an athlete, so yeah. she, she obviously. She knows. Has, and now I saw her on the Strictly Come Dancing tour, mm. you know, and she said it's a, you know, a pretty gruelling regime. So dancing's a good way, fun. Yeah. Get some exercise. There you go. 
Yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for that summer. No problem. Lots of dramas going on, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Now. I think it's fantastic. Thank you very much.